Happy Sunday, everybody. You guys see what we're having for dinner? That's a pizza. These were on sale. Buy one, get one free with a dollar off coupon. So I bought two pizzas for $5. That's a good deal. Hopefully this is good. I've never had it. It's called Palermo's. We'll see. Uh, it should be pretty good because it's spinach, bacon, and feta. Sounds delicious to me. What do you guys think? Yeah, I can tell you this. I certainly am fed up with I don't know, there's not a good pun there. Um, I'm kind of <laughs> worried about like the stuff falling off the edge though because it's a thin crust. Oh yeah, I was very upset that it's they like only right had... Up to what, the is edge. this a green bean? No, it's the it's the spinach stock. Oh, okay. That's how spinach is born. So, I just got home, right, and I went into the bathroom and I looked in the mirror and I noticed that there was some food in my mustache. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know how long it was there. Could have been there since lunch like 11 15 today and it's now going on what what time is it it's right there five o'clock awesome six hours could have been something in my mustache nobody told me nope just let it ride what this this is exactly like when my hair was crazy and you didn't tell me this is your karmic retribution like is that what it is karmic retribution this is yeah, like what you get. Well, but I mean, it's not. It wasn't that bad. So you're you're saying that you know my hair was terrible. You saw it. and You didn't tell me. No, no. I'm saying that having the stuff in my mustache wasn't that bad. Okay. Good talk. That worked. Good talk. And goodness knows we can't just have pizza for dinner. We have to have a salad. Armani, don't lick your butt. Don't do that. Thank you. What do you think? Pretty good. The uh, spinach, not my favorite thing, but it's not bad. Oh, I thought it was good. The only thing about it is that it's like a creamy or like a white sauce and I really, I don't know, I like red sauce on my pizza. So I've been dipping mine in like a marinara type sauce and that made it a little bit better. You wanna try the marinara? Yeah. Bandit is the weirdest dog. I was walking in, I went to go get water and he was laying under this rug. Like the, the rug is your blanket. That's pretty, uh, what's the word? Weird? Well, no, what's the word when you're like uh, resourceful? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We decided it would be a good night to watch Interstellar. That was a pretty dang long movie, but pretty darn enjoyable. Like I, I liked it. I didn't fall asleep, watched the whole thing, paid attention through the whole thing, got it all and stuff happened. Space time continuums, relativity, time, not so much travel, but fifth dimension type thing. Like past the fourth dimension, we're like, shooting on to the fifth dimension, which is pretty sweet, but uh, kind of mind-boggling. I don't know, it was enjoyable. I would recommend watching it, but it was there were some sad parts. Definitely some sad parts, because we're talking about, like, the end of days here, end of humanity, but I don't know, you have to watch it. It was enjoyable. I get up for two seconds to use the bathroom and talk to you guys on the camera. Somebody takes my seat. I think that's you, Bandit. What the heck, dog? So here's the problem with watching Interstellar, though, that it was a very long movie. So it like took up the entire night. I mean, it happens, so I wanted to see the movie. The good news, though, is that today was hump day for me. Hump day! Actually, it's more than hump day because I'm working seven days this week. Hooray, seven days! Ha <laughs> ha! Good times. That does mean, though, that I only have two days left in my work week. That is a good thing. So as many of you guys know, I am in a little friendly competition on Twitter for the hashtag Disney March Maleness. It's a competition that's being put on by Turkey Leg Jeff. And basically what it is is we're in a bracket system just like March Madness for basketball. And all you have to do is go on and use the hashtag Disney March Maleness to vote for me. And he will give $100 to the charity of my choice, which happens to be Give Kids the World. So Give Kids the World is a nonprofit organization that exists solely to fulfill the wishes of children with life-threatening illnesses. It provides them a cost-free trip to Central Florida and all the attractions around town, and it gives them the vacation of a lifetime. There are other sections of Give Kids the World throughout the country, but the one here in town is Give Kids the World Village, where they have a great Central Florida vacation, and they get to have all sorts of parties for them, and they have fun activities for them. They let them eat ice cream for breakfast. That sounds awesome. They've got all these attractions around town, Disney and Universal and SeaWorld and all these other places that they can take them to and let them have a really great cost-free vacation. And so, if you vote for me during Disney March Maleness, not only will Turkey Leg Jeff donate $100 to Give Kids the World, 
but we will also donate $100 to Give Kids the World. So you guys really should just vote for me online right now on Twitter at Reply Turkey Lake Jeff and say I vote for Tim using the hashtag Disney March Maleness. Give Kids the World truly is a magical organization that has fulfilled the wishes of over a hundred thousand kids and families. That is amazing. Also, if you guys wish to donate to Give Kids the World, you can do so at www.gktw.org. And by doing so, you can make kids' dreams come true, which is a pretty awesome thing. Consequently, that does mean that I have to go to bed because I have to get up and go to work again tomorrow. So, I'm off to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.